Hey guys! In the past month, I showed you on Instagram these pretty long shikishis I made for my prize draw at the Leipzig Book Fair. So each of it was a first prize and, well, all prizes are gone and hopefully they found a nice new home. However, I haven't recorded the progress of them, sorry! <laughs> but no problem, I have some shikishis left. I'm gonna show you my technique of these special shikishis and I will especially go into detail of how I made the sparkling mythical fog. Let's start with the art supplies I used for the sketching part. Of course, there's a shikishi needed, but you don't have to use it. You can use whatever you like. I have already explained in another video what exactly a shikishi is made for, so if you're interested in getting more info, just take a look at the description box, there will be a link to this video. For sketching I used a mechanical pencil with a lead from Pentel in H hardness, so it's not too dark and easier to erase without having deep marks left on the paper. And talking about erasing, I recently bought this eraser for Mono for dust tree erasing. If you saw my previous shikishi videos or if you have ever sketched on the shikishi by yourself, you might know that the paper is pretty sensitive to erasing and it's sometimes annoying to get rid of all that paper dust. So I found this eraser and I just fell in love with it. I use it for every sketch now. So I start off with a quick sketch without adding too much details because the less you're erasing, the better it is for the paper, even with my new awesome eraser. After sketching I used the Geo College pigment liner for making the outlines and I somehow have always the problem that no matter what pen I used, it always bleeds a bit on the shikishi. Maybe it's because the paper is super soft and it has a lot of layers. And well, my secret for less bleeding is just being fast. So for the mythical fog, I started with the brightest colors and then I just go in with deeper blues. Now somehow I decided to show you two ways of doing this fog. One way is to only paint with the markers and blend the colors for example with nail polish remover. Uh, you can also use the colorless blender or rubbing alcohol for it. The other way is using the various ink of Copic. I personally do prefer using various ink because for me it's way faster and it looks different from the first option, which I will show you next. So I drip the colors pretty careful, as you can see, so it's not too much and I'm still able to have a bit more control over the colors. So here again I started with a blue tone and then continued with a pinkish one to achieve some color pops. So not everything should be just blue or just pink. So after that I let the colors completely dry and while it's drying I continue on the other half with nail polish remover and just blend the colors with a q-tip. So the difference between both techniques is that with various ink I can add color for blending, while nail polish remover is colorless and is bleaching the colors a bit. I could have used more layers of colors on the right side to achieve a better blending with nail polish remover, but I think it still looks great even if it looks a bit faded. Now after the various ink side is absolutely dry, I used the colorless blender from various ink. I also could have used the nail polish remover and I don't know why I used the various ink instead. However, this is what it looks after using it. As you can see, there's no color bleeding through the shikishi board on the back. Um, it can handle a lot of color, I guess. But I don't want to test how much color it can handle. I've mentioned that I would have needed some more layers to achieve a similar opaque to the other half of the mythical fog I made with various ink. Uh, so I just add more color and blend them again with nail polish remover. It's pretty easy to fix things with markers. You can almost 
always paint over and blend and add more depth. That's why I really love using markers. Now the rest is super simple and easy. I start with the darkest grey tone I have and just go lighter. In this way the fog stands out and it's somehow a nice contrast. Now I use again a q-tip with nail polish remover to blend the edges so it looks more soft and it fades a bit to the background. Of course you can do it all different. If you like you can paint the background first and leave some space for the fog and then go in with colors or various ink to blend, just as you like. Like always, the most important thing comes at the end, adding white details to give it the final touch. So for that I'm using a piece of plastic from some sort of chocolate box, my most favorite white ink and a G pen for adding it. This part is just a little bit sped up, so you can see it's normal and good to take your time while creating your art. Sometimes those speed paints seem to confuse people because it gives the idea of the need of being fast and perfect at the same time. Um, while the truth is that the artists of those videos really took their time for all these details. Art does not happen in a hurry and especially adding the details should not happen in a hurry. So just take your time, be focused and enjoy it because especially these final details will make your art pop. And to make it more pop and fit with the other pieces of this little series, I added some golden details with Fantec Gold ink and that's it. Oh and as a little extra tip, if you paint on the gold frame like I did, just take a q-tip with a bit of colorless blender or nail polish remover to clean it up and now everything is clean and finished. I hope this little tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you would like to see more tutorials, just let me know it in the comments below. Likes and comments really helps my channel growing, so thank you so much for your support. This piece is now available in my Etsy store as well as my newest art book which I showed you in last week's video. So make sure to take a peek at my store, you can find a link to my shop in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and like always, stay creative. Bye bye!